the area and we heard that there's a, a ship that just was kind of run up here on shore and never seen it before so I'm gonna go check it out. There seems to be no use for it, it's just here. And it, it's part of the view, I suppose. It reminds me of a place in Cape May, New Jersey, where there is also a concrete ship. But it wasn't originally a wooden boat, because I guess this used to be a regular boat, but they concreted it over. The ship was built in 1919 as part of a fleet of ships that were being built to replace our steel cargo vessels that were being sunk in the Atlantic by the German U-boats at the time. This was back in the time of the First World War. A young Norwegian engineer came over here and talked to our powers to be in the shipbuilding industry and told them how we could build these ships out of country. It was never used during the war. By the time they got the money appropriated, the war ended. This ship went into dry dock from 1919 until late 1929. In late 1929, a company from Nevada purchased this ship from the federal government. The government took all the machinery out of the ship and this ship was towed down here in January of 1930, just a few months after the great stock market crash of October 1929. The purchase was made just before that. It was winched into the pier and sunk right where it sits today. The superstructure was taken off of the top of the deck. Part of the ship had a big arcade built on the deck. The rear of the deck had uh, a big dance hall built on it. On top of the dance hall was a restaurant. The center part of the ship had, where the engine room had been, a swimming pool installed in there. It went into service as, a, uh, as an entertainment vessel. Let's you and Bo go on a mental strain. It takes a week or more to master what we're wearing. The subjects from the complicated worlds with minor of clothes are what an awful jam. Who cares about the love life of a clap? Like a scale of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. First of all, a song should have simplicity. Follow me. After two years of service, it went out of business because the effects of the Depression took effect out here on the west coast of the United States. After it, uh, after it went out of service as a party boat out there, it was used for many, many years for fishing. Go well, over the boat, pick some rocks quite a while ago. Not anymore. It's just been here for a long time, uh, since I was a kid. To get our nets, grab nets, we used to make our own, drop them straight down from the pier. There was a pier before. And I used to be able to walk out onto it. My grandparents used to come fishing here. Yeah. We're old enough to say that we've been on the ship. Yeah. But you could only walk to that, the middle part. You okay. couldn't walk beyond that. Winter of 2000, we had some very heavy seas that winter. We had 20-foot waves here, and it caused the decks to break up from the inside. The water going into the ship through the openings welled up, forced the deck up, and broke up the deck to the point where it became a safety hazard for the state. So uh, they closed it. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It's kind of a... Uh... <laughs> It's uh, kind of impressive, I guess. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know it was all concrete either. Well, I guess I just wonder why they didn't destroy it. <laughs> I know why they just wanted to cover it over with concrete, but I heard there's a museum somewhere that would tell me about that. So I guess that's just what I wonder about it. It's been here for so many years. And you can 
continues to be here today. It's a source of sea life here on this beach. On the deck of the ship, farther out towards the bow, where the water, the deck is very low down to the water out there, is a resting place for our harbor seals. You also see many, many birds on the boat out there at times. It will continue to be an artificial reef even as it crumbles and disappears into the water because it will create a, a pile of concrete underneath which will harbor a lot of sea life like the anemones, the stars, and so forth.